Welcome to Mornings with Mindy. Today we're looking at another tropical fish called the goatfish. I paused this image just so you could see where they get their name from. Um, you can see right here on the bottom of their mouth they have these two little white appendages that, that can hang down. Same thing with this one here. And it looks kind of like a goat's beard. So that's where they got their name uh, goatfish from. When they're just swimming around in the water column, you can see they don't have those appendages hanging down. They use those pretty much just for feeding. Um, what, they, what they do is along the bottom, along the sand, they'll kind of move those around, quote unquote, tasting the sand and just shuffling around looking for um, invertebrates, crustaceans, and things that might be hiding in the sand that they'll want to eat. Uh, many of these are the yellow fin goatfish. Uh, but if you see any that have that dark spot on the line, there's also a square spot goatfish. Um, so sometimes they can be a little trickier to distinguish, but the yellow fin definitely has a, a much brighter yellow uh, stripe, and then their, their tail fin there is a brighter yellow, whereas the spot fish have more of that um, distinct spot to it. I have another video here. Now one thing that's kind of cool about the, the yellow fin, which here's, here's a good example of a school of mostly yellow fins here, they can turn colors, so they can turn a red if they choose to. It depends on kind of what they're doing. Right now they're just they're swimming around. They're more of night feeders, so right now they're just chilling in the in the basic basic ocean column there in the water. Um, but they can turn a reddish color as well. They look almost completely red, so that's interesting uh, that they're able to do that. And that's only the yellowfin goatfish. The spot ones do not change colors. Um, but you can see this is a pretty good sized school uh, that I came across while I was out snorkeling. And like I said, when they feed, they just go along the bottom. They put those two little appendages down and start tasting for some yummy critters to eat. But these are very common off the coast of Hawaii. Don't be surprised if you come across a large school of them when you're out and about. You can see I, they weren't really too afraid of me. I wasn't bothering them. They weren't bothering me. But there you have it, a goat fish. Again, a little hard to see those little appendages, the little barbells when they're swimming. But uh, if you see them go near the bottom, you'll see them put those out and just shuffle around in the sand, tasting and trying to disturb any kind of creatures that they might want to eat for lunch. So there you have it, the goat fish. Have a great day.